guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and i hope you've all had a great start to the year by the time this video is out we will probably be in like the second or the third week of january so i hope i don't look too random saying happy new year but of course we are still in the month of january the first month of the year and this is a time where people kind of tend to be reflective of you know what's gone on in the last year and make new year's resolutions and set goals we set new plans and ideas and you know we want to achieve the best we can throughout the coming of the year the new year and that's great i think that's something that everybody should do if you want to be you know someone that grows in their life but at the same time i'm not here to come and sit here today and say new year new me because one i'm sure you've all heard that a lot of times before um two is so annoying <laughs> And three, I feel like it can't be any further from the truth simply because it kind of makes you assume that because you've entered into a new year, you're automatically going to have a new you. Just because you've entered into a new year, that doesn't automatically mean that because you want to change, you're going to change. There are practical steps that you need to put in place and that you need to follow daily. And, you know, from month to month, you can check and see if you are doing those things to get to where you want to get to. And... I don't want this to be another year that goes by where I've just wasted, you know, time and I haven't done what I set out to do. And so I've kind of broken them down into like three categories and I really think that they can be helpful. And those categories are structure, people and attitude. And so if you want to hear a little bit more about what they're about, stay tuned. So the first point I want to talk about today is structure. Now, when I say structure, I mean like the management of your time, your time management, what your day looks like, how you plan things, how you organise your life to make sure that you're doing what you need to do to get things done. Now, I've had to learn the hard way that time can be your enemy. Like, <laughs> time is the most important thing. And I was listening to Patricia Bright's video the other day and she was talking about time management and how she's so organized and she plans everything to the T and that's something that I really want for myself but I'm not like that naturally I'm someone that is very last minute I'm someone that kind of procrastinates in getting things done and it's not that I'm a lazy person it's not that I like to be unproductive it's actually the total opposite I am someone that likes to be productive so much that if I'm not productive I beat myself up to the point where I don't feel motivated to do anything. And it's just a vicious cycle that I realized went on in my head last year. And that is something that I wanna work on this year, my structure, everything that is in my life. Like, I'm not gonna lie, my life is kind of chaotic. And sometimes I sit there and I think, how do I actually do it? Like people come up to me all the time and say, Samira, how do you do it? Like, I'm a mom. I'm a working mum with two young kids. I do the school run. I have two jobs. I physically go to work and I work from home. I have a house to clean. I have cooking to do. I have laundry to do. I have a husband that I need to tend to. I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. I'm a friend. Like it's so much at times and I feel like almost every day I feel like there's not enough hours in my day. But that 24 hours that God has given that you get every single day is all you're gonna get and you need to learn how to make that work and I'm realizing that it feeds into everything it feeds into every area of your life you know if you don't manage your time effectively obviously it feeds, it feeds into your punctuality everybody knows me knows that I am terrible with timekeeping and it is something that I hate but I, I'm realizing that it's because it it's a knock-on effect you know if I don't do something when I'm supposed to do it it knocks on into a later time which means I end up doing what I need to do later which means I'm then late and it's it's not good I'm not making an excuse for it it is something that I really do want to change but I'm realizing why I am the way I am and why certain things happen in my life and I need to take accountability for it I need to know that I'm the only one that can change it realizing it's the first step you know and so yeah i kind of lost my train of thought there but um anyway time is so important and yeah that's what i was going to say it feeds into 
every area of your life. It feeds into your stress levels. It feeds into how well or unwell you do a task. It feeds into how people see you. You know, for example, with me, I am a very, very reliable person. Like, if, if I'm your friend and I tell you I'm gonna do something for you, I'm gonna do it. But on the other side of that, why should anyone believe me if I can't even get to where I need to go on time, you know? It doesn't really add up. You know, like I said, it is something that I'm working on. So people that know me, if you see me, if I'm late somewhere, don't have a go at me because I know and I'm trying. And this year, I will be somebody that is on time. <laughs> so yeah, um, in terms of how people see me, of course I care about how people see me, but I don't care about what everybody thinks about me because that's just hard. How can you manage everybody's expectations? But there are certain people in your life that of course you need to care what they think. And I really do want to change that aspect of my life. Yeah, so as much as my life is crazy and I have so much going on, I do feel like I can, I can handle things better. I do feel like if I organize my life and I plan more efficiently that things will be better and I do manage a lot and I give myself props for that you know with the help of everyone around me and God I do manage a lot and thank God I'm not crazy I do still function well but I don't feel like I'm functioning to the best of my ability and I feel like structure will change a lot planning and organizing my day and so I've made it a conscious effort to change this year I've got a journal um I, nah, I won't share it. Me and my sister are planning to do something and I think it's gonna help both of us to do what we need to do. But yeah, your structure, your time management, how you plan your day, how you set your goals and how you account for them is very, very important. If you want to grow, if you want to see new, reach new heights in 2018, you need to learn how to get your time management under control and how to plan effectively and how to be accountable if you plan something you want to go from a to d but how have you thought about how you're going to get from a to b from b to c from c to d you have to put practical steps in place and that all goes with your structure and your organizing and how well you plan the second thing i want to talk about is people now <clears throat> something that my dad my old man Alaji. <laughs> Something that my dad used to say all the time to my sister and my brothers and I was show me your friends and I will tell you your character. And we used to bust up, like we used to find it so funny when he used to say that. But it's so, so true. Like, you know, as the other um, sayings go, birds of a feather flock together. It's so, so true. Like, you cannot be friends with someone if you don't agree in a certain capacity like there's definitely something that you have in common and so if you are constantly around excuse makers procrastinators lazy people negative people people that are always gossiping people that always want to talk about things that are not beneficial things that are not going to take you higher things that are not going to inspire you then eventually you will become like that and even if you are a positive person and you have big dreams and you aspire to do well, if you're around those sort of negative people, negativity is draining. Like it is going to drain you. It is going to wear off on whatever positive mindset you have. And so the people that you have around you is so, so important. And you know, me personally, I've realized a lot about friendship. I've realized that it's definitely not about the number of people you have around you. It's about the quality of people, as they say, quality, not quantity. You know, it's even if you have two friends that you um, have in your life that challenge you, you know, I have, I'm not gonna say her name because, you know, maybe she don't want me to say it, but I have a friend that we talk, when we talk on the phone, she will challenge me. She will say, okay, when's your next video coming out? Okay, when do you plan to do this? How many subscribers do you wanna have by this date? Okay. It, with anything in my life not just YouTube I'm just using it as an example but yeah like that have people in your life that challenge you have people in your life that you're accountable to and my sister my sister is one of those people who is like my rock she challenges me she inspires me and I don't mean people that beat you down and tell you everything that you're not doing I'm talking about people that uplift you and they want to see you when they're happy when you're happy so yeah, people is very, very, very important. With people as well, it goes both ways. If you want to have those kinds of people around you, then you need to also try and make sure that you're being that kind of friend to 
whoever's around you so it goes both ways you know you can't just expect certain things from people if you're not willing to give it yourself and lastly the last thing I want to talk about is your attitude now this one I've left to last because I feel like this one is the most important I was listening to a sermon the other day pastor TD Jakes and he said something that just blew my mind completely and I'm gonna paraphrase because I don't know exactly the words he used but he said something like the movement of the clock is not what brings about change and newness of life it's the movement of your mind and I was just like yes preach it preach faster <laughs> because it's so 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 true like people assume that just because you've gone into a new year that you're going to be a new you and that is it couldn't be any further from the truth like you do not change because you want to change you change because of your mindset the first thing that has to change if you want to do something differently is your mindset you know if you want to change if you want to be better at something you have to change the way you're doing things and it all starts in the mind like your mindset is so important how you see things everything in life your outlook on life your perspective on different situations is all shaped by your mindset and your attitude so we all know a bad attitude is not a good thing anyway but your attitude in terms of your outlook on life in terms of how you think how you process things you need to know that you're only going to change if your mind changes so stop feeling like you cannot achieve stop beating yourself up stop feeling like you can't dream big because you know maybe your family has never graduated so you cannot graduate or everyone in your family has struggled with poverty so you're gonna be a poor person or you haven't really seen anybody have a successful relationship so that means you can't it's all about how you think if you want to change if you want to do better it all starts in the mind they say a sign of madness is when you continue to do the same things the same way and expect a different result and it's so true because if you want to see change you have to make sure that your mind has changed you have to make sure that you're thinking differently you have to make sure that you have vision that you have drive that you have motivation and that you have a focus and your mind is where all of those things live you know your dreams your aspirations your goals it's all in your mind and of course you know there are things there's certain things that you need to share with people just so that you can be accountable just show that you know you get people's opinion on things but sometimes there's certain things that is not going to make sense to anyone and that's why you need to make sure that your mind is correct so yeah you need to be your biggest cheerleader you need to be the person that is rooting for you the most and in summary i would say what comes with a new year ask yourself these questions what comes with a new year what comes with a new day a new minute a new hour is the fact that you have a desire to change that's great the fact that you have a passion and a motivation to do something different and that is a blessing you know we take it for granted but tomorrow is not promised to anyone so as much as you plan for next year or next month focus on today focus on what you can do differently today so i hope those tips were useful and i hope that you can apply them in your life it's definitely something that i'm going to be doing so i just want to leave you with this quote before i go and that is if you always do what you've always done you will always be what you've always been and so i hope that makes sense i hope this is useful and helpful let me know in the comments if you find it helpful and if you like this video be sure to give me a like be sure to subscribe thank you for watching as always but yeah let's just let's just do better this year let's reach new heights together let's grow let's be successful let's be the best versions of us that we can be thank you for watching guys i'll see you in my next video bye